Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, we're fighting on three fronts with a young squad, and so some tough decisions do need to be made. And by tough decisions, I mean the cup run's been nice, but we've really got to focus on Europe and winning our title back. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to Your Ruin on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 6, Episode 13. Hopefully we're not superstitious. We have two semi-finals today. The first one is in the Cup against Rijeka. And, uh, well, we've made some tough decisions in terms of team selection for this one. And if we win, it's a bonus. If we don't, we've got to focus on the league. We've got to try and get to the final in Europe and, uh, and go from there. The second game will be the first leg against Endelect, the Conference League semi-final. The biggest game we've had as a club, without a doubt, I would say. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be exciting. But uh, there is one game to catch you up on first. So let's go and do that. It's against Slaven Belupo in the league. We took a second half lead when Fillet played in Dekic. Before Williams made it 2-0. So the uh, we scraped it. Basically, we scraped it. You can see on the XG tracker, there was nothing happening in the first half. We actually went back to the old formation with the three centre-backs. And it, it worked to a point, I suppose, because we, we got two goals. Although, you know, one was a set piece. So that doesn't really affect the formation so much. But you can see we dominated possession. XGs were low for both teams. So to get the three points here was honestly just a big bonus for us, really. If we look at the league. And uh, we can see one point behind Dynamo. We have got a nice little gap back to Oziak now in third. Reminder, top two are Champions League spots. So uh, it'll be the sort of the, the non-league winners, the league paths for qualifying as opposed to the champions path, which would probably be a little bit more difficult for us. But we've just got to get there and give ourselves a chance. And uh, obviously we want to try and win the league uh, if we can manage to do that. So Rejeka in the cup up first. Then we face them in the league, which I'll play off camera. And then we come back. And uh, we'll face Andalek. Now the first leg against Andalek is away from home, so we want to try and uh, we want to try and, and and at least have a, a chance when we come back home, obviously. But cup semi-final action first. We are expecting a bit of a bus park against us here from them, and this is the team that we're sending out now. Like I said, we have had to make some tough decisions in terms of uh, of squad selection and basically favoring the, the other games. Now, one bit of uh, disappointing news is uh, Bracalo is injured for this one. Um, so we've got a, a new name playing left back, uh, which is this guy. He was signed, you may remember, last summer very much as a bit of a prospect. So he's going to get a chance in a pretty big game here to show us what he can do. So it's Ayesar in goal. Borchman, the, uh, the young promising centre-back we signed from Schalke, is going to get the start here next to Triantis. Pembele and uh, Dejanic will be the wide players. Brigic, Ormarkic and Kakavenga in midfield. Skoko uh, will go as the number 10. He has been in horrible, horrible form recently. So let's. I'm tempted to actually, well, a heavy match load, not play him, to be honest. Who wants him? It's the, uh, it's the Saudis. They can, oh, I'll tell you what, if we get Saudi money for him, I'd be tempted. Uh, it's going to be Matanovic and Vincenton going up front. And uh, yeah, like I say, not our strongest side, but hopefully one that is good enough to get the job done. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Interestingly, uh, Ilan Kovic, of course, who used to play for us, uh, is on the bench. He usually starts for them. Ivan Mesic, of course. Uh, we sold him to Rijeka in just this most recent window. Um, and you may remember too, Turpic was uh, injured last episode or got injured. He is just coming back to fitness. So he's on the bench here if we need him. I think we just uh, we just relax. It's a semi-final. There might be some nerves kicking around, particularly amongst those that maybe don't expect to play a game like this. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Uh, there is a couple, we have Rovis, we have Sithole, Dekic. Uh, the reason why Pembele is playing this one is, uh, but wing wingbacks particularly, I just rotate them one in, like, you know, they play a game, rest a game, play a game, rest a game. Uh, that is because we ask a lot of them and they, they just tend to be tired. If I try to play them back-to-back -back games, typically the second one in a row is is not a good performance from them. So, um, yeah, we've kind of uh, just come to that conclusion that they just have to rotate one you know, one game at a time. Um, the Bricolo injury isn't super serious, so I'm hoping he will be back for uh, for Europe. Um, but, yeah, we'll kind of see. My, my plan is that uh, we'll put out a strong team against Rijeka in the league because we want to try and, obviously, win the league if we can. As uh, Vizentin, Skoko, Matanovic, it's a bit scrappy. Pembele's in there. Pembele, can he pull it back? It's Kakovenga. Oh. And it is a save from the goalkeeper. A good save as well, it has to be said. 
And let's see what we can do from that corner. It is uh, towards the back post and it is over. And it is over from maybe Triantis, was it? Couldn't quite see who it was. Um, there was something else I was going to say then as well, but I can't remember what it was, so it can't be that important. We've got a uh, free kick to defend here. And it is over the top. Um, now, did I mention why oh, for viewers player of the year? We'll have to vote on that next episode in all likelihood. So make sure that you are um, getting those final nominations in. Pembele, oh, we had more time there. Oh, if that's what I was going to say, uh, we're, although we're playing this formation, instead of focusing through the middle and looking for the overlaps, oh, it's a great header. It just looped over Riasa. There was nothing he could do about it. And I don't even know that the defender could have done much more either, to be honest. And we're 1-0 down in the semi-final that we are hosting, of course. And yeah, Borchman, maybe. It's the two guys that don't usually play in the first team. Uh, Santiago is suspended, which is why he's not available for this one. Um, so between suspension and injury, that's why we've got those two in the side with, when they typically wouldn't be. And, uh, yeah, obviously, that ideally wouldn't have happened for us. But still time to come back. We're not having too much possession here, which is not ideal. So let's uh, let's go back to... I wonder if we go back to this and... Yeah, we'll try that. I'm wondering if we lower the tempo down a little bit. Let's encourage them. Vizenton over a free kick. It's there for Pembele, who's in back for Brigic. And he doesn't get many, does Brigic. He's only he's second of the season. Uh, but he's drawn us level. He's drawn us level late in the first half. Good ball in from Vizenton. Pembele on the chest, pulls it back. And uh, Brigic, I mean, we've seen our players miss from there before. But it would have been difficult to do. So, back level. Uh, again, it's from a set piece, so we can't really claim any sort of tactical brilliance on my part, but I'll try. Don't worry about that. <laughs> and it is 1-1. One, one. All right, so what do we say to this? Do we say we're not happy? Uh, the scoreline doesn't reflect. Is there a dig in? We've been the better team here. Have we been the better team here? I'm not sure we have been. Um, let's do it for the fans then. All right, I can get on board with that. Uh, I feel like as soon as I said our assistant's really been good at giving uh, team talk advice he's not been quite so good anymore to the point where I tend to ignore him now. Uh, but we'll go with him on this occasion. Let's encourage us and see if we can get ourselves a lead in this one. I mean, it would be very, very nice, wouldn't it, to win a treble, but let me know what you guys think in the comments, of course. I just think there's no money in this. We're not desperate to make Europe, which is the only real thing that the cup is uh, in a way good for, is uh, is that European spot. And I just think we've got a really good chance to make a final in Europe. And then if you get to the final, then, you know, you never know, even though we would definitely be second favorites, no matter who it is we play there now, uh, which would likely, of course, be Newcastle. And uh, the league, you know, we've got to go for Pembele. What's happened to Pembele? Twisted knee. Um, so Dekic will have to come on. Uh, it's late-ish in the game, so it's not like he's playing a full game here. Uh, Vizenton is only playing a 6-5 despite being heavily involved in the goal so we'll bring Turpic on and Skoko just continues to embarrass himself I'm not sure how many subs we get in the cup but that'll almost certainly be it do we have another one? Oh, we do have another one if we need it okay so that's good let's try a demand more we're looking motivated and can we put some pressure on them high up the pitch here Kavanga, just don't get yourself sent off there, mate. Uh, I mean, the two Dujanic has done okay, I think we'd say. I mean, didn't cover himself in glory. Matanovic just nicked that. He's played it through for Turpic. Lovric is with him. Turpic takes it wide for a little bit of space. It's balling. Matanovic! Oh, I thought that was going in. The goalkeeper has made two cracking saves for them. Otherwise, it would very much be tie over. Kakavenga now. Can we find? We don't really have. Chirantis is good in the air. Borchman, not so much. And that is headed away. Thankfully, he's uh, somewhat up there by himself. And there's no real threat of a counter-attack. Um, we're getting late in the day now. And if there is going to be a goal, it's going to be late on. Kakavenga for Turpic. It's just over. Not the greatest in the air is Turpic. So no surprise, I don't think, that that didn't find the back of the net. Let's encourage us. Can we get a stoppage time winner? 
Now, do we go straight to penalties, or is it extra time? I'm not sure what the answer to that is. Uh, it's extra time. So this is not really what we needed. Don't let it slip away now. Uh, is there anybody here that we would consider using in the next in the league fixture? And Pembele would be the only one. And uh, yes, and he's he's already been taken off, of course. So I don't think we need to worry too much. The other one, of course, is the goalkeeper, but he'll be fine. Um, so we'll get back out there. Kakavenga's not having a great game, but he's one of those guys that we've seen him time and time again pop up with just incredible goals. And so I don't really want to take him off. Here we go. Lovrich tries to thread a ball through. Triantis gets up well, but uh, can only head it back into the path of a Rijeka player. Triantis trying to get back. It's a goodish tackle. Holds him up momentarily. We're in a little bit of trouble there, and we just couldn't quite get back, could we? So if Kakavenga's having a bad day, we'll take him off for Verasic, and Matenovic can come off as well for Rakic. And that's going to be our subs done. And uh, let's encourage us and see if we can get ourselves back level again in this one. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always a risk of this. I still think... Oh, and that could be that. No, it's wide. I still think, even if we do lose... I, mean, like, I kind of knew that it was obviously a chance that that could happen. I do think I've done the right thing, focusing on League and Europe. But it doesn't really feel like it when you find yourselves about to get knocked out of a cup, does it? You never want to lose. Uh, all right, so what can we do here? Let's take it off, play through the middle. That's probably the best thing we can do. And unpause would be useful. Let's see if we can get at their back line a little bit. I wonder if we go a little bit more direct as well. Maybe just get the ball into the box. The problem with that is we don't have that much height in there. Rakic and Turpic, neither of them are monsters in the air. Let's try and demand more. We've got a highlight. Is it going to be a potential equaliser or is it going to be game over? Rakic for Turpic. This is a big chance. Turpic, he goes to dink and he scores! Gary Turpic, what a finish! It's as good as their header, isn't it? It was absolutely sublime. And in the 119th minute, we've drawn level. And it was the two strikers, Rakic to Turpic. And look at this. Oh, that is brilliant. What a finish from the youngster. Came through our academy, of course. And he is quickly becoming a bit of a savior of this team off the bench, isn't he? Massive, massive stuff. All right, let's go to penalties then. Spot on the final. Uh, in the final, I should say, uh, let's make sure you have no regrets. I can get on board with that. Come on, boys. Ayasa has never really shone as a penalty stopper, I don't think, has he? Turpic scored a wonder goal, scores from the spot. And uh, he is becoming a bit of a, well, certainly a manager favorite, I've got to say, with the amount of times he's saving my bacon. Now, can Ayasa make a save? No, he can't. It's 1-1. All right, Borchman. He's German. He should be able to take a penalty. Come on, mate. And he can. So, pressure goes back onto them now. Can Ayasa make a save? It is Fruk, who I'm sure we had that name at uh, at Grindavik early on, if not that particular player. And, oh, it's straight at Ayasa. He didn't, I think I could have stopped that one. Rakic now. What a pass it was for Turpic. Can he take one from the spot? Oh, we can, and we are 3-1 up. So if they miss this one, then we have a chance to win it, don't they? It's Ilan Kovic, former Jeroen player for about four months. Oh, that's a good penalty, isn't it? So it's 3-2. Triantis. This makes me nervous. Come on, mate. Do it for you. Do it for the country. Do it for the Socceroos. He does, and it's 4-2. And now the pressure is really onto them. They have to score. And they have to score their last two. Kaneasa. Make one of their guys a villain rather than one of our guys a hero. It's Decore. I don't know if it's that one or not. Skips up. And it's a very nice penalty indeed. So who wants to be the hero here? Score and we're through. Who's stepping up? It's Lovrich, another of the young kids. This would be three Academy products to, uh, to take penalties. Can three of them score? 
Lovric has a European hat-trick this season, and he sent us into a cup final as well. It was tense, but it was brilliant. And it is, uh, it is us into the cup final, where I presume, given that Dynamo were playing a... Uh, we didn't blow them away, that's a bit... A bit much. A bit of a... Uh, what do we say? Congratulations, you're in the final. I wouldn't say we blew them away, though. And it will indeed, in the look of that, a 94th minute goal for Dynamo against the 10 men of... Uh, some, uh, who, I forget who it was in the comments. Uh, that They said... it was The, the comments have been brilliant, by the way. Um, but that... It, it's like Snake Town or something, is what that basically translates to. So I've taken that off my uh, holiday destination list. But uh, yeah, apparently there are a lot of snakes in Croatia as well, which I wasn't aware of. But, um, you know, I'm Australian. I'm used to snakes, I suppose. Uh, I've never seen one. I know actually that's a lie. I have seen them, but not very often. Um, all right. So it's Dynamo in the final. So we've got that to look forward to. Pembele is only out for a couple of days. Turpic, what a goal. Penalty shootout hero as well. Well done to you, sir. And uh, well, we've got Re uh, Rejeka in the league. They, we're both going to be tied, but we can rotate heavily. I think we can anyway. And then I'll be back in momentarily for Andelect in the cups, uh, the conference, sorry, semi-final. All right, welcome back. Here we go in Belgium to face Andelect in the first leg of the semi-final. Leon Newcastle is the other one. That is undoubtedly the uh, the bigger teams, isn't it? So uh, let's see if we can get to a final, and then you never know what happens. There is one game to catch you up on, though. That was the game against Rijeka in the league. Let's see if we could uh, double them up like we did in the cup. Maybe what? Well, no penalties in the league is there, but let's see if we can uh, see if we can win. We fell behind late in the first half, but Turpich and Visenton combined on the break to have us level. Before Visenton picked out Palumbo's run to give us the lead, but Rajeka pulled level before they went in front late on. Ah, damn. So, yeah, we've lost. We were the better team. Uh, XG would suggest that. Matt Stats would suggest that. We just... I don't know. Yes, I didn't have a great game playing a 6-2. Um, yeah, it was just one of those, wasn't it? Turpich and Visenton played quite well. And uh, maybe, maybe we went a little bit too weak. But I just wanted to make sure that we had a fit team for this one. And uh, if we look at what that means for the league table... What it means is that Zagreb have a four-point lead. They beat Oziak in uh, sort of the day before we played. So what that uh, it kind of put the pressure off in that if we were to lose, the Champions League wasn't really any further away. It was the gap was going to stay the same sort of worst case scenario. Uh, what we want to do, of course, is win our title back, and that has taken a bit of a kick. We faced Dynamo next game in the league, and that is uh, that is a title. Well, never mind six points. A title title twelve pointer for us now, isn't it? But it is about the Belgians right now, and we are expecting a 4-2-3-1, now inverted, or inside forwards, inverted wingers with wingbacks, uh, means that we're going to have to be on our game at the back, doesn't it? So let's have a look at what we're doing. Um, so Skoko Palumbo, I suspected Palumbo might have a heavy match load, that's not a problem. Skoko with a heavy match load is maybe a bit more of a problem. Uh, I don't, I just, I'm at the point now where I don't really trust Skoko anymore, so let's take him off, let's get Matanovic, and let's try that. I think. Do we want you as a Shadow Striker? Uh, see, this is where... Alright, let's play you as an advanced playmaker in that uh, in that little hole there and see how that goes for us. Matanovic can go on attack. Alright, so AS are in goal. He needs to improve his recent form. It's not been great. Damjanic and Williams are back as the uh, defensive duo. Pembele and Brocalo will go down the wings. Sithol, Bosniak and Kakavenga in midfield with Akbasli, with Matanovic and uh, Philip going as the front three. All right, so the team sheets. Do we recognise anybody there? Uh, I don't. Oh, Casper Dolberg is. Uh, he's that. He's a Danish guy, isn't he? That was highly rated. I think he was an FM Wonder Kid, wasn't he? At one point. Uh, so we've got nothing to lose. Really what we're capable of, I think. There's no pressure on us here. We are away from home. What we want to try and do is be in the leg. Uh, obviously, uh, sorry, in the tie going into the second leg. So let's see if we can do just that. Um, is that how they said they were going to play? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll need, yeah, so we'll need to be on our on our toes at the back and make sure that uh, we're not we're not letting them get away with too much. There's a big part of me that wonders if uh, we need strikers tracking wingbacks back, uh, but we'll we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I just feel a little bit like our squad is just being found out to be. It's just it's just a scooch too thin. I think um, maybe it's a little bit of me not rotating players. 
properly or at the best the best I could do. I think wing back and uh, and maybe center back as well. We're just we're just a little thin. Uh, wing back where we only we have two basically. So when someone gets injured or whatnot, then that kind of messes that up. I think center backs. Yeah, we have the likes of Borchman, uh, who's promising. We have a lot of good young players. Uh, and I just, I just don't know that Santiago quite works the same way in a two as he does in a three. And uh, Triantis is fine, to be honest. But um, you know, Williams and Demjanic, I think, have proven themselves to be our our main two. And it's just a matter now of, um, yeah, we're just in that stage where we just need that these. We have all these promising players. We've signed a lot of good young players. As Procalo gets back, that's offside. I think I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, yeah, it is. So we just need to give these young players time to develop now and and start to come through and hopefully get the club reputation up. Ricardo with a good ball towards the back post. It's headed away, but Pembele picks it up, floats one back in towards Fillet, and it is saved, tipped over the bar. And we'll have a corner. Can Kakavanga look at Williams and Damjanic at the back post? Fillet's around there as well. Matanovic is no mug in the air, but it is flicked away. Williams to but uh oh, so that Bosniak and that ends the highlight. Highlights suggest we might be getting on top here. But we need to convert highlights into goals, don't we? And we know that that has been a bit of a problem of ours recently. Damjanic to Bosniak. Bosniak, look at the run Matanovic was making. We don't use him. We go wide for Pembele, who has a heavy touch. And, uh, oh, they're giving it away. It's Matanovic! And it's a stunning strike! Igor Matanovic! He's got 11 goals now this season. It's been a poor season from him, really. He's not hes not done anywhere near as well as I was hoping he would do. But come of the hour, come of the man. Bosniak reads that like a book. And Matanovic turns, goes back the other way, and just puts his foot through it. Goalkeeper, not much chance. And it is 1-0 away from home for us. Let's give them some praise. And let's see if we can go on with this now and uh, essentially book our place in the final. But we've uh, we've had comfortable leads going home before, and uh, Besiktas made us very nervous. That is not particularly confidence-inducing, but we've got away with it. Here we go now with Matanovic. Phillips making a run. Pembele's making a run. Everybody's making a run. Matanovic is just doing his own thing. He drills a ball in, but it is picked up by the defense. We should get that. Williams brings it down nicely. Forward again for Bosniak. Nice ball there for Bracalo. Not the greatest touch, but he gets away with it. He's got Kakavenga with him. He crosses it in. It's back post and it's over the top by Akbasli. Oh, and we've seen him score a load of headers this season. Unfortunately for us, he just couldn't get that one on target. So half an hour gone. 62% possession. One goal up. Let's keep praising and see if we can just get that second goal. Now, Enderlecht, they scored quite a few, didn't they, against AAB? I think, was it 6-2 in the end that uh, that tie finished? So, there there is goals in their team, and we know that there, uh, there are definitely goals can, in uh, in our back line as well. So, we've just got to be a little bit cautious here, but that's a pretty good first half. Uh, we would have to say, don't get complacent now. And I'm wondering, Akbasli not having a great game, would we say? Uh, at a 6-6. Six, six. I wonder if we do change his role back to that Shadow Striker role. And see if that uh, if that helps him out at all. Uh, we do have Skoko on the bench, obviously. But he's just, he's just been in no form whatsoever recently. Particularly on camera. Which is, uh, which is weird. He has got, I think he's got 16 goals this year. Um, and just again, a reminder, last call for viewers player of the year nominations. Shithole over a free kick and it's off the top of the crossbar. And maybe, maybe we give Skoko a game off the bench. Never mind, Bosniak's injured. Okay, so what do we do with that? Um, maybe that, Akbasli could maybe go and play that role. He's got good passing and vision, not the greatest... Uh, work rate or whatnot, but all right, let's try this and see how that goes for us. Hopefully, there's not a serious injury for Bosniak. Uh, that would be a massive blow coming into the end of the season for us if we were to lose him. Um, I mean, I feel like we deserve a second goal for how we've played this one, but the clock is ticking down, and it's, it's almost one of these you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I wonder. 
Um, I wonder if we go and do that. And uh, if that might give us a little bit more luck. Especially getting the wingbacks involved. We'll praise again. And it is an end elect starting highlight. Skoko just hacks it upfield. And the goalkeeper trips over his shoelaces. And with 15 minutes to go. Just pumps it long. We should win that. And uh, we've just given it straight back to them. Philip will pick that up though. And it is again just taken away from us. Matanovic. Williams goes across nicely. Can he clear it now? We do get it clear nicely. Akbarsley goes forward. It is, again, I think we need to lower the tempo down. We're giving the ball away too much, aren't we? Oh, that's crossbar, and it is Pembele clearing it away. Uh, let's lower the tempo. Just take your time with a little bit more, perhaps, here, boys. 13 shots to five. And it is just the one goal lead right now. Akbarsley is not really getting it done in this one, is he? So we'll take him off. We'll bring Palumbo on. And uh, what we're doing here, of course, is we're going to have a bit of a shell of a squad going out against uh, Dynamo. Philip tries his luck, but uh, not really not really on that one, was it? Yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. What do we do? I mean, going 1-0 up, going home, and a four-point lead... Well, we'll wait and see if we have this one goal lead. But you know, you'd imagine, I mean, even absolute worst case scenario now, we're going to be no more than one goal down <laughs> going home. So we've got, to, our interest is definitely still alive in this. Do we think with Dynamo, four points up, maybe. Oh, Matanovic off the crossbar. Do we think maybe we do just rest full squad for the second leg here? Five minutes of stoppage time. And if we happen to beat Dynamo, we happen to beat them. But do we kind of semi-concede that and go after Europe, after the final? We are going to have a lead going home. We've beaten Anderlecht 1-0 in their stadium. It should have possibly been more. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've, we're we've in a good position, aren't we? And perhaps surprisingly, Lyon have, uh, albeit it wasn't their home ground, but they've beaten Newcastle. So it's all to play for in both semi-finals. Of course, I guess the other way to look at things, uh, let's... It's a month, and a month at the end of April is pretty much season ending for Bosniak, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so you do wonder a little bit if if maybe maybe we just rotate against Dynamo so that our best 11 that is left is uh, is available for Anderlecht, and uh, and we just kind of go from there. We've got a cup final against Dynamo. We can we can always hope to get our uh, our revenge in that one for uh, for not claiming the league title. But away from home, going to Dynamo. I just wonder, I think there's a big risk we could play our best team and lose anyway and then struggle against Anderlecht. My instinct is that with four games to go, it's unlikely Oziak is going to catch us. We're going to get top two. We're going to get Champions League next year. We could make a European final. We could still have, a, you know, have our crack at them in the cup. Yeah, let me know what you think on that one. But anyway, if you've enjoyed that, guys, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We've made, uh, we've made a final, and we've taken a step towards a final today. And that's not bad, is it? Take care.